Hello. Today, I'm going to show you some experimental modifications on this RG mini stage laser which I'm thrilled to try out the idea. I'm going to open this unit so we can see what's inside. Yes, I finally opened the unit, let's see and identify the setup done inside. As we can see, we have proper laser modules here. The 650 nanometer red at 100 milliwatts and 532 nanometer green at 50 milliwatts. The use of the dichroic mirror here is to combine both being colors into one line of light but, the setup we find out here is that the dichroic mirror is not aligning those two beams properly I will just show you here the working mode of this unit just observe what I am showing you here This is the red module. This is the green module. Both are mounted just like that. No alignment trick here just fulfilling the combination of two beams. We will dismantle two laser modules with the mirror very quickly here, then show you here what changes I have made inside. As you can see, I replaced the green module with 405 nanometers or they just called it purple or blue ray laser. The power output of this purple laser module is only 50 milliwatts running about 50 to 60 milliamps. We can't see the actual output very well if we point it out to non-luminous objects, but if in total darkness you will notice the effects that we will show you later.
Now, you see that our modification here is successful. However, I still need to observe the lifespan of the laser diode we used here. Because the logic board used in this unit runs by a 5 volts 1 amps power adapter input. Then distributes the voltage and current to the cooling fan, the motor that rotates the grating glass, and both two lasers. The circuit output pins for the green laser diode give at least 4.8 volts without load, and the current is automatically adjusted by the logic board when the load is connected which is the purple laser diode. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you are happy, like and share our videos.